Hello, my name is Rocky. I'm an engineer here at Arclight Dynamics. I'm going to show you in three easy steps how to make a part on a Arclight Dynamics plasma CNC machine. So the first step is going to be opening a CAD software program. Your computer will already have Inkscape and QCAD loaded onto the desktop. The second step is going to be opening a computer-aided machining software, which your computer will come with sheet cam as well. And then the third step is going to be using Arclight Dynamics CNC Plasma Interface. Go ahead and double click QCAD. Uh, once QCAD loads, go ahead and find the origin and go ahead and click down on the mouse wheel and drag the origin over to the center so that you can see where you'd like to design your part. I'm gonna be designing a part that's four inches by six inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in until I have the correct scale uh, within my working envelope. So next, I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna select the shape tools and I will select the endpoint rectangle. I will click on the origin and I'm gonna come up about six inches and I'm gonna go over about four inches and then I'm gonna click. That will give me the rectangle that I need. If I hit escape, I can go back to the toolbar, scroll back and then open the circles tool. If I pick the center point circle, I'm going to click and expand outwards. I'm gonna put six holes in this bracket and these circles will be the holes. So go ahead and place the six that you want. And then we need to dimension the circles. So select one of them, hit shift, and go ahead and select the rest by clicking. You can come over to the diameters screen on the property editor and type in 0 0.5 so for 0 0.5 inches. Now all of my circles are a half an inch. And at this point, I can go ahead and hit file and save. I will save this to the desktop as bracket one so that I can open this up in SheetCam, the computer-aided machining software. So at this point, go ahead and minimize your screen and it's time to move on to step two. So now you will see your part in QCAD. Uh, the next thing you're gonna wanna do in QCAD is go ahead and hit Operation, Plasma Cut. And from here, the preloaded selections are going to be used in 95% of your parts. Outside offset will as well. We'll go into a deeper understanding of the contour method in another video, but for now, outside offset is what we want. Layer usually will be default or zero, depending on what CAD program you use. So you wanna make sure that that is selected. And then for tool, we're gonna be using a 45 amp, 16 gauge steel uh, for this. And we wanna make sure path rules is set to standard. Our lead in is gonna be an arc at 150 thousandths of an inch. Our lead out will be none. And go ahead and click OK. So at this part, or at this point, you can go ahead and see the lead ins if you zoom in, and you can also see the direction of the path. This part looks pretty good so far. We can see that the, the cut path is fully defined, and we're ready to go ahead and hit File, Run Post Processor. So again, we're gonna to wanna to save this somewhere that we can easily access in our next piece of software, which is gonna be the CNC interface. So I will save this as bracket one as an NGC file in the programs folder. So go ahead and click save. The blend value is, the preset blend value is going to be utilized in most of your operations. There is reason for changing this. However, that'll be detailed in another video where you really get into the deeper understanding of how blend value works. So go ahead and minimize the program at this point. All right, now the third step in the three-step process is go ahead and open up the CNC Plasma interface.
All right, so the first thing I do is hit E stop and power. This allows power to the motor so that you can go ahead and home the machine by clicking home all in the top right corner. All right, so now that the machine is homed, we're gonna go ahead and load a file by clicking on file on the tab down here. Select bracket1.ngc, which is the file that we produced from SheetCam, and hit select. At this point, I can see the file that I wanna cut on the screen. And now I need to go ahead and move over and get the program zeros. All right, now that we've loaded the file and the machine has been homed, we're gonna go ahead and set the program zeros. So the first thing we'll do is hold down shift on the keyboard and use the arrow keys to drive the torch toward the material. Once you're roughly over your material, go ahead and click laser and then line the laser up in the corner of your origin. I'm gonna set the jog speed to low so I can dial in the corner. And now at this point, I'm gonna hit set start up in the top right corner, and I'm gonna click off of the laser. This will take away the laser offset and the torch should move right over the point at which the laser was pointing. At this point, you are ready to go ahead and run your file. So hit run loaded program and cut your part out. All right, now we've cut the part out. The part looks to be in good condition and it's time to post-process the part by cleaning it up. Those are the three easy steps for cutting a part on an Arclight CNC machine. For more videos and information, go ahead over to our website, arclightcnc.com. Thank you for watching.